NASA's Operation Ice Bridge mission, the largest airborne survey of Earth's polar ice ever flown, kicks off its second year with the arrival of two NASA aircraft next week in Greenland. The team will spend 200 hours in the air gathering data using a suite of instruments that peer below some of the region's critical glaciers. IceBridge is aptly named as it will bridge the data gap between the loss of NASA's ICE, Cloud, and Land Elevation Satellite, or ISAT, and the launch of ISAT-2 planned for 2015. I think it's probably safe to say that if, if, if it weren't for Operation IceBridge uh, or, or, or similar efforts, that the global science community would, would lose a lot of its knowledge about what's going on with Greenland and Antarctica as a whole. 200 hours in the air require a lot of work on the ground. Engineers have been outfitting NASA's DC-8 and P-3B aircraft with an array of science instruments. IceBridge planes will resurvey previous ISAT tracks to get a sense of how Arctic ice is changing. I think the last thing that NASA would like to see is, is, to, have, is to take a snapshot of the ice at the end of the ISAT-1 operational period, get another snapshot at the beginning of, of ISAT-2 and have no idea what happened in between. And that's essentially what Iceberg is about, is filling in that, that gap of knowledge. If you want to uh, look at areas that are very dynamic, like a glacial region, that's actually a lot of ice is moving through and there's a lot of vertical changes, we can map that entire area and capture the full spatial variability of that change, which is really a good indication of what's the mechanics of how that change is happening. Greenland, because of its presence, and Antarctica, all the ice masses together act as, act as buffer on climate. And so uh, if, if they were to start to melt, which, which many people believe that they are, uh, then, then the, the eventual effect will be a, a warmer climate overall. Annual spring missions over the Arctic and fall missions over Antarctica will allow scientists to track changes in polar ice thickness and extent so we have a better picture of ice dynamics and future sea level rise.